What's up all my stock market investors? It is Shadai and I'm back again with another Cash App Investing video. And today I'm going to talk about a retail stock you should probably stay away from as well as discuss some bad news that could be coming our way. Trade wars with China have kicked up again and we all know that last time that happened, the market went down. Then we have Elon Musk tweeting that the Tesla stock price is overvalued which brought that price a little down then we have Warren Buffett and his Berkshire Hathaway portfolio they sold all their airline stocks and I watched him speak and he just he looked so unhappy like he just looked his face was just like I can't even believe this is happening because he knew he was gonna have to explain why they sold out of all their airline stocks and hey, he says that it's just a whole new company now. And I think that that's something that we should also be considering if we're investing in airline stocks. <laughs> Me, I'm invested in JetBlue, so it's something that I should be uh, considering. And what I've noticed is that when these big top tier people back out, it's usually for a reason and it's usually because of something we don't know. We don't have that higher power. We don't have the the millions and billions that Warren Buffett has. So he knows a little bit more than the average individual like me and you. But I'm watching him. And now I'm a little worried about airline stocks. We should also be worried about retail. Because there's just this assumption that retail won't ever be the same again. The retail space, the mall space. That's what the the assumption is. And Foot Locker is at risk. So if you were interested in investing in Foot Locker, I would put a halt. If you already are invested in Foot Locker and you're not down, I would honestly sell. I don't really know what their future holds for Foot Locker, but it just doesn't seem that that great. Um, as we make this video, they're currently trading at 2310. Their 52-week low is 1746. And their 52 week high is 5801. So they're very close to their 52 week low. They had a net income as of uh, December 2019 of $491,000. But their total debt is around $3.3 billion. And they give out a 6% dividend, which I'm not too sure if they've taken that off the board since all of this has happened. I'm sure that that's a possibility. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, it should be a very easy transition for Foot Locker. They could just go to e-commerce. Well, they're already set up for that. They're they're set up for that through East Bay. And Foot Locker already has their website that, that's working pretty fine. And East Bay is a pretty popular website. But I think it's an old style. It's an old school style website. Uh, I think that it's, times are changing. There's just better sites. There's different sites that you can go to that are just more appealing to millennials like a stock X, you know, when you're trying to decide it, you know, am I going to shop at Foot Locker online or am I going to shop at stock X? Am I shop at East Bay online or am I going to shop at stock X? More than likely you might end up on a, on a store website like stock X. Um, unless I guess you're looking for, you know, an original shoe that is, you know, whatever price, but usually whatever shoe you can get at Foot Locker, you can get on other platforms. So I don't really know what exclusive rights Foot Locker has, but I just see it as being one of those companies that people just kind of like, eh, all right, we've had enough of Foot Locker. Now it's like the next thing. And if malls don't succeed, I see it very, 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 very uh, doubtful that Foot Locker can succeed without the mall industry. I think the mall industry helps the stores like Foot Locker and Finish Line, especially when they're selling accessories. I used to work at Finish Line. I was an assistant manager at Finish Line. And you make a lot of money selling, you know, adding those cleaners, adding those socks, adding those shoelaces, just having that one-on-one -on -one sales experience. I don't know how they can make it work i really don't and for that reason i don't think that this is a company that you should invest in and if there's other retail stuff that you're investing in, be very very careful um you know we're just we're, we're going through a new time and there's a lot of major shifts happening and you don't want to get stuck you know with your money in one of these companies and then lose out so let me know in the comments what you think 
about Foot Locker. Let me know in the comments what you think about Elon Musk tweet. Let me know in the comments what you think about um this dude getting out of the airlines. What's, what's this dude's name? I forgot his name already. Uh, Warren Buffett. Let me know what you think about him getting out of the airlines. Uh, what are you going to do if you're invested in airlines? Me personally, I think I'm going to stick out with my position right now. I just don't like to lose, so I'm a little down on my JetBlue stock, so I I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to hold it out. And the best part about that is that I haven't heard anybody say anything bad about JetBlue. They're always talking about De Delta, American Airlines, all the big wigs. But they seem to leave JetBlue alone, and that can either be a good thing or it can be a bad thing. We'll see. We got a handful of companies this week that will be uh, listing their earnings, their quarterly earnings. We got PayPal, we got Zynga, we got CVS, we got Square, we got Viacom, CBS, we got Uber, we got JetBlue, we got Win, and we got Dropbox. So if your company is uh, expected to report this week, make sure you're paying attention. Make sure you're doing your research. And you're up to date as to what is expected to happen because you don't want to lose out on money and neither do I. So I'm paying attention this week. Y'all have a great rest of y'all day. I'll see y'all tomorrow.